All right, so you should have saw the previous video where we went ahead and got the receptacle and everything put in. So now I'm gonna get this mocked up here. But you can see it's mounted slightly out of level and that's deliberately so that way i can actually get this to drain if need be i can you know with the higher end i can get it all to drain out to the low end here so you can see it's a little bit out of level but not too much And this part has to go on the outlet. So that's why I was just trying to figure out. So yeah, this is going to be my outlet side here. I'm going to have the inlet coming up. So what it's going to do is come up. I'm going to put a T split over, come down. There's going to be a valve here and a valve going up to bypass. Then I'm going to have this one come up and over and connect back up also. That would be just about right. Anyway, that's the ballast for it. And this is going to be the light end, which goes over that. It's going to be fastened here, and this will be plugged in over there. That all looks pretty good. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get some of these uh, plumbing connections put together. All right, got this on there nice and tight. Now, I'm going to get the next fitting on top of that. All right, you can see originally I had the ballast up here, but that's why I use screws on this, so I can pull it down here. Because I was looking at it, and I'm going to need to have the plumbing come up and across, because I want to keep the plumbing underneath the receptacle. And now we're going to get this cleaned up a little bit better. All right, now the other end. All right, here we are back today. We're going to finish up getting this hooked up. So I got my valves and everything in. I was short on some of my uh, pinch clamps, so I had to go get some more of those. All right, you can see here, I'm just going through and kind of mocking up how I want everything laid out. So I'm going to finish this up before we show you the final result here, how we're going to do it. Save that, put that back on later. Now that we got this, I can actually go ahead and put the clamps on that. This is what we're using for it. We got to make sure this one, you can actually adjust this back to actually make it a cutter to take them off. So make sure you got the gap in here before you put them on.
And with these two, you can see they're curved. So you gotta kind of work it back the opposite way to get it back out. So that's much straighter than it was. And you can see here, we're actually getting about a quarter of an inch down from there is where we're crimping these. And this gets put on there like that. And you just gotta squeeze her in. a better view. Okay, you can see I'm continuing doing the mock-up. Got to do this because this one here is going to actually get pushed over more because I got to make room to come up here for this valve to go to the T. So we're going to go ahead and make that right now. Hmm. I got to figure this out because I want to fasten this so I can turn this. All right, you can see here how there was a mistake made. So I'm gonna have to cut this one, get this back down and get that redone. And thankfully I can do that with this same tool. So let me go over and I'll set this down and show you how we do it. Okay, now with this thing, you can see there's a little die part here. So you flip it over, you can unlatch this. You can push that up, spin it 180 degrees, put it back down in, close that and now these, will go all the way tight together so they can't pinch. They'll actually cut it. So let's go cut it and I'll show you what it does. And now since we have that die flipped around, we can put this on here and when we squeeze this, it will cut it. But it's not easy. <sighs> all right, so now it's cut. I just gotta pull the little pieces off. Got that all fixed. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the messy part as, as far as trying to cut the main water supply here. And there is a bucket down here below catching this. All right, all my connections are made and you can see I got all the valves are closed right now because I want to slowly apply water to this to make sure nothing's leaking here either. But this is set up here. So if I need to do any maintenance on this, I can turn these two off and still have water going to the house if we need it. Now we're going to start applying some water slowly to the system. All right, I got the system pressurized up to these valves. All right, that is now open, so it's pressurized all the way up to here. And here, you can hear air bubbles going up through right now. Put that in auto. Make sure it is working. Yeah, okay. 
camera. But what I was doing is I had this out. So when I turned the valve on, you could see the glow from the UV light kicking on. Because this does have an auto or an on or a stop. So if I'm going to be gone for long periods, I can just hit stop so I don't have to worry about it getting too hot inside here. You can see where I, I took it off at. So it's up here. So this is where I took this piece off. So I got that sitting here. So I'm going to have to get some more insulation to put around this stuff just to keep it from sweating. All right. Hopefully you all enjoyed that. And if you have any questions on how this is done or if you have any comments, you can leave them below. See you on the next one.